Hey, my name is Mason Rawson. I'm a junior this year. I was the captain of the mechanical team. We mainly focused on this arm, so I'm going to tell you how it works and everything. Okay, so the challenge was to climb a pyramid. So how we did it is by connecting a sim motor, same that we're driving the drive wheels with, to this shaft. So when this screw spins, it'll raise this arm up. And once we hook on, we spin the other way and it pulls it back down. So can I get the arm going up? It goes kind of slow. Another thing, once we get the bar here coming back down, it hits here. So these, the elephant's thrown on them at one point. Um, so when the bar hits, it pushes down with a spring, very, very simple, comes back, catches the bar. Now this arm is gonna go pretty high. And that's because when we're at an angle, the whole robot swings. When we're on this bar, the whole robot will swing forward. So we have to make it extra long to be able to reach up the hypotenuse of the triangle. Can I get it back down now? So if we caught on here, if we pull in the arm back down, we'll be lifting the entire robot off the ground. Go faster. Show them the switches. Have it, have, push the bottom switch to show how it stops. How we control this is with a thing called a limit switch. So I'll go ahead and press it. It stops it. We'll keep going. So when this goes too low, it'll break the chain on the bottom. So we stop it with a limit switch like I'm going to do again. We have another limit switch on the very top. Oh yeah, right there. We also have another limit switch here. Will it work when we're going down? No. Alexis, go back up. So go back up. So if I wanted to stop this going up, it hits here. So this black bar is what's designed to hit the limit switch to stop it. Okay, Alexis, go back down. Go back down. So now when we have the bar, yeah. So how we geared this is we put the two sim motors on a gearbox and then we geared it even more so we and we connected with this chain we also had to have some extra stuff here on the bottom to make sure it didn't pop off and so one thing unique about this uh, climber in particular is that it's pretty simple I explained that in a couple of seconds a lot of the robots here, you could not do that. Mm -hmm. They have multiple moving pieces, lots of places to break. The one thing we are proud of, of is the simplicity of our design.